Up until very recently, it has only been possible to create project artifacts in ChatGPT and not use them and manage them directly in the tool. But that has all changed. And it's all due to a plugin that I have recently discovered and would like to demo to you today. Now, this can be a fantastic solution if you're on a tight budget, perhaps you can't afford project management software or are yet to commit to one. If you want to manage your personal projects in your own life, or you just want to operate exclusively in one tool. So what is the plugin? Well, I'm logged into my account here today and do consider that you will need a paid plan uh, in order to access this tool. And that's because it is a plugin. So just a quick heads up of how to activate plugins if you haven't used them already. You click your uh, email address in the bottom left hand side of the interface. You click the settings cog here, you click the beta features and you make sure that plugins is enabled. From that point, you click make sure GPT-4, that model is selected, go down to plugins, make sure that's enabled. And then here, I have enabled the plugin that we're gonna be using and it's called Task ML. Now, if we just look at this, uh, sorry there, a little description of what it is. Manage your projects and tasks, quickly create project tasks, add, tasks, to-dos, and mark them as done. So all you'd need to do, I've obviously activated this already, you'd need to click plugin store and then search for task ML. Now you just need to press the install button and at that point, it will ask you to log in to your ChatGPT account. Essentially, you need to connect the API. And that's important because we want everything to be stored and accessible. So now I've got this activated so we can see it selected. If we didn't, it would say no plugins enabled. But with this selected, I now want to run you through exactly how this plugin works and how useful it can be. So firstly, you will need to create your project. So I'm going to use a de in this demo today, I'm going to use an example project of creating a new website or a launch of a new website. So you want to start off by saying something like, and you can use this word for word. Um, I will leave a link in the description to the developers uh, page where you can learn more about it and some of the prompts that you can use. Uh, but this is the recommended one to start with. So create a new project called, and then I'm gonna put in quotation marks, uh, new website launch. And this is obviously where you put your specific website, uh, your project's name in or implementation type in. So create a new project called new website launch. And what will happen if the plugin is activated correctly and it's kind of leveraging that tool is it you'll see this. It was a using task ML and it was a use when it's done. So the project new website launch has been successfully created. So it's got a name. It's got the status as to do date, due date, not specified description, not provided. At this point, we could say, please update the description. So please update the project description or you could just work through all of this. So change the status. So let's do that first. Change the project status to in progress. Change the due date the, and put project here. Project due date to, let's put January 2024. And you see that update there? So that's great. And then you could say something like change the project description to a uh, the implementation to upgrade our existing out of date website to a new version and improved customer experience making this up of course but you get the idea of what we need to do and again it will always say using and it should say if it's managed to do that. So it's been successfully updated. So we've got the basis of our project here. Now it gives you another prompt saying, or a suggestion, would you like to proceed with any other actions or add tasks to this project? And we do, we want to add a task to, let's just say, train the marketing team, train the marketing team to update the website. As an example, I'm just using this as an example. And that's the key is that you need to explore the tool and ChatGPT, play around with it and see what you can do. This is just how I'm using it, okay? So using TaskML. The task, 
train the marketing team to update the website has been successfully added to the project new website launch. Then it says, would you like to specify a due date or add more details to this task? And we can, we can say something like set that task as due next week. Um, yeah, let's leave it like that. Um, you could specify a date here. You could put the exact date in if you wanted. I'm just going to say next week. Uh, no, no, actually, I'll just say tomorrow. Just keep this simplistic. Set that due date as tomorrow. Um, then you could say something like mark it as in progress. Add a short description telling me how to update it as an example. It's all, this is all illustrative purpose. I'm going to see how it works. So here we go. It's done. The task has been updated. We've got our in progress. We've got the due date tomorrow. Um, and it says, follow the product guide in the training manual to update the website. Ensure to review changes before publishing. Now, we've asked it, but we could actually say something like, um, be very specific if you've got um, a description in mind. But bear in mind, because this is leveraging ChatGPT, this is leveraging all the power uh, of this um, this entire platform. So it, it's it's very intuitive in, in picking up on the kind of information you'd want to include. And that's what I love about it so much. We could also ask prompts like, tell me the, and I'll put something like first three steps. I'll put that in these kind of marks here because I'm just gonna ask it for three steps. You could, you don't have to specify the steps. You could have 50 steps. You know, um, what I'm trying to say here is you can be really, very really specific. I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes and keep it kind of hopefully running quickly and then we'll get the result much faster. But you could really delve deep here. Um, so you could say something like, tell me the first three steps required to launch a launch a new website again here is where you'd put something like your pro your implementation type sell a new product um i don't know uh, introduce a new product to a customer that those kind of things tell me the first three steps to launch a new website i'm going to say on wordpress that's a, a platform used to create websites by the way just to give the tool some additional context um save them as new tasks to the project so again, this is another prompt that's really, really effective. So we're going to wait again for it to say used task ML. And hopefully by the end of it, we're going to, we should have at least three or hopefully four tasks in this project. So it's now using it again. Interesting. I'm assuming each one is for a task. So hopefully this will be the last one. I don't know. The first three steps required to have been added as task to the project. Choose and register a domain name. Make I've built multiple websites on WordPress. That's correct. That's the first step you need to take. Select a web hosting provider. Again, that's the second step you need to take. Install and set up WordPress. This is actually spot on. It's actually it's actively well it's it's accurate. It's entirely accurate. And it's added it to the project plan which would be required. So this is fantastic. Okay. This is absolutely brilliant. Now I'm just going to show you so that's really how you create a project, the tasks. Now here's some really cool um, things you can do once it's all set up and off the back of it. You can say something like, show me all of my tasks in a table. And you could extract this into Excel or another tool if you wanted to, but as I've said so far in this video, you don't need to. You can manage this all in ChatGPT. So look at this, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's kept that existing one. We could say delete the train the marketing team uh, to update the website. That's no longer required. We could delete that off. We could ask it to change it from step one. We could say we could change that to milestone one. You know, change step one, change or change the task names from step one, step, step to milestone. You see, this is how you refine it. But that's one example of one thing you can do. You can say something like, show me all my tasks due next week. Show all the tasks I completed last week. See, and it's only provided that one because that's the only one that meets the criteria. Show all the tasks I completed last week. This will be blank because we haven't completed any tasks yet. But when you start building this out and using it, of course, this is when it will start to populate. It's very, very intuitive. Show me all overdue tasks. See, brilliant. 
Absolutely brilliant. I love this tool and I would strongly recommend that you give it a go. It's entirely free. And let, of course, you do need to have ChatGPT, the, the four model, which is on the pay plan, and you do need to have the plugins enabled. But apart from that, if you've got that, this is entirely free. And it's all stored in the database in the API. So, you know, this can all be accessed now whenever I need it to, uh, as long as that connection is in place. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. If you have any questions about this plugin or just this video in general, please drop them down below. I'll get back to you on that. Uh, but yeah, as I say, check out my playlist on using ChatGPT and other AI in project management if you haven't already, along with subscribe if you haven't already. But with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.